yeah, we got these sweepers in the workshop going through them all, trying to find one that'll work the best. They kind of all run, but the fan housing at the top, I'll just climb up and show you. Is it's like paper, so there's no suction, basically. And it's probably quite a lot of work fabbing a new fan housing. But we wanted to clean out underneath the drying floors, and we thought if we get these running, put a long tube on here, we'd be able to. Sorry, know that one. We'd be able to use it as a big Hoover. But we decided there's that much work. I've got an electric sucker blower, lent it to Phil a few years ago. I'm going to go and pick that up and we're going to try and see if we can make that do for suction. The only thing is, I don't think we've got a three phase power supply close to where we need it. So we might have to make a cable up or we've got an old generator in the back of the shed there that we've never used, but I think that's three phase. Do we get that out and make that fit? I don't know. Either way, it's going to be a day in the workshop. We're on our way now to pick the sucker blower up. We've got the dump trailer on so we don't have to mess around strapping everything on another pipe work. We can just lift it through the back door, hopefully. So, I'm just driving through Whiston now. Back from picking it up now, we're just gonna see, I've got an old extension cable that's all tangled up. I'm gonna see how far that reaches and then I'm gonna get, lift it down with the Merlot and see how far the cable is on the sucker blower. I might have to make a small cable up, get it to reach and then we, then got to find the tube in it to make it be able to suck from under the floors. So we're just messing about really because something we've never done before. So wish us luck. It has got quite a long cable on it, probably 10 meters. So hopefully that'll get us across the yard. And if the extension cable will get us across the shed, then we should be all right. Fairly extended this cable. We're nearly at the workshop. We're messing around with the cables, but we suddenly realised the plug we've got in there is 32 amp, and this says it's 39 amp, and then it's got to run that one as well, which is another four. But what we're trying to do is, must be trade testing kit for the first better. You see here where this chip fell in, the gap between the metal and the floor stopping the airflow. And then further in, see this layer of dust? It's not so bad here. If we go further down, the air tunnel, it's a nice job to do on a cold day, I think, because it's about 35 degrees in here. If you look here, it's piled up, stopping the airflow completely. So we're going to scoop out as much as we can while we make up a cable. And then probably tomorrow then, we'll get in and hoover underneath. What's the plan anyway? So we're just going to get the wheelbarrow now. I suspect that ampage though is just on startup. But well, before we start making cables coming from the workshop, I think we'll try it first in the workshop, see if it'll take it, and then if it will, then we'll make a longer cable. But for now, we're just gonna quickly scoop a bit out with a shovel, get it going, and then sort this out tomorrow, probably. Now the hunt for a three, uh, not a seven pin plug, a four pin plug, not a five pin, 32 amp, three phase plug. There's one in here somewhere, but don't know where. Turns out the welder plug is 16 amp. I thought it was 32. The machine's 64. So anyway, I've rung Dave Electrician. He's gonna put a 64 amp socket in the back of this shed. We'll make up an extension cable and we'll use that. So for now, we're just gonna scoop it out. The lads are in there now with a shovel. But this has just arrived. And I was a little bit confused, but basically Sulky and Sky Agri and Prolog have now just become Sky Agri, which is basically shortened down version of sulky so our new if we got a new fertilizer spreader it'd be great so yeah so it was like a product brochure and a hat and all the different things where the cap where the machines are made 
so yeah so it used to be sulky and then now all that's merged together so yeah hat cup some postcards so thanks for that sky agri <laughs> Actually, this poster explains it better. So Sky Agriculture, Sulky, is now one, one manufacturer. Together as one. There we go. Got a pen as well. Some stickers. I don't know what that is. Let's see what that is. It's a random poster of some. What's it called? That game. Oh, Scrabble. Scrabble. On a metal mug. Metal oh well, there you go, thank you. <laughs> no doubt I'll check them out with Agrotechnica as well. Yeah, so this is Sulky, so if you do that, that's Sky. But it used to say Sulky Burrell somewhere, and Rico mm. must have been the importers, I think. Because Dave Bull that does spread about, he used to be at Rico. But I can't see Burrell on it, but I'm sure. Apparently the chairman of Sky Agri is someone Burrell. Did it say on there, maybe? Yeah, sulky burrow. All right. So there you go. My dad was on about this actually the other day, saying that it changed. Maybe he'd seen it in the farmer's week with the farmer's guardian. Yeah. So Rob and Morgan have scooped out quite a lot of stuff now, so it does look loads better. Rob's got his t-shirt on because it's tropical in here. It's, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit warm. It's 30 odd degrees. Even Morgan shed a layer. Yeah. Still got his pants on now. Thought you always wore shorts. I do. It's on top of the pile. There we go. Right, we'll try that then. Yeah, for future reference, that's a 32 amp plug. That's a 16. So that's a step down. That's a 32. But that is a 64. So what it is, it's a massive fan. We even looked at converting it to PTO, but it spins at 4,100 RPM. That spins up, creates a vacuum, goes through a cyclone and blow stuff out that way, I think. I think it sucks. Oh, I've got this wrong, maybe I've got this wrong. No, I think, I think it sucks in here, spins round, drops the rubbish out and blows it there. Oh, I forgot, oh, I can't remember now. Yeah, that blows it out and that sucks, but it's really powerful. So Phil had been using it for cleaning out where his dryer was. So if we get it all working on a big plug, it'd be handy for cleaning out under our dryer as well. I lent it Phil a few years ago, forgot he had it, but we'll get it up and running. I'm starting to think maybe it would have been quicker to refurb the fan on one of these sweepers. So there's one in the workshop there, there's one here, and then there's another one around there by the third spreader. If anyone is interested in a job lot of road sweepers, there's three. And someone's got some patience in a workshop with a welder, they could definitely have themselves a good sweeper. If you're interested, send an email to ian at agricontract.com and then make us an offer. But it's got to be above the scrap value because obviously scraps worth a couple hundred pounds a ton and they weigh about three ton a piece. We also have Detroit diesel engines in them as well if anyone needs a Detroit diesel engine for anything. Oh, there's the other one there. Morgan's moving out of the way so that we can get a crate from behind it to put all them fittings in for the sucker blower and then I'm just going to land this in here out of the way. This was on the top of the crater when I get out of the back there but if anyone wants one of these it's it's a pickup pitch that Andrew brought for his 38 Massey. 3080 Massey. He's never used it, never fitted it but I believe it fits case tractors as well so if anyone needs a new pickup pitch for your tractor he's going to sell it because he's never used it. So, again, <laughs> let us know. It's turned into one of them days where we just move stuff around the yard making space. So we need to put that trailer, it's on the 1455, undercover because that chip's going where that is. The drill's round there undercover, so we're going to put the drill back in here. So I've moved the 1690 gearbox back to this bay, move the third spreader back, put this in here now, and then we'll uh, get that out of the way sort this chip out I think someone's coming for a load of straw as well so it's a nothingness day again but we have got I don't know about 20 barrelfuls of wood chip out of that tunnel 
so that will hopefully make that air flow better. So the auger's just going to back that in there. Now, do we get an orange lids for the smart box or just one of them? So it's orange one side and green the other. Or wrap it, or just leave it green. The dust on the drill off the dryer. Oh. Blowing off now. I can't see us doing any more drilling this side of Christmas now, not with the rain that we've had. So we may as well tuck it up in the shed. And even if we did, it'd probably be that wet that we'd, we'd try pulling the Claydon through because it's a bit smaller. Oh, go on, keep coming a bit. I'll do. Yeah, I'll be all right, that. We've had half a bale of straw knocking around the yard. And anyway, girl up the road's getting a her um, Shetland pony, so I think she can have this for it, and then it gets rid of it. Save us walking around it. I'll just push it onto draw bar, watch your knees. Don't know how I get it off at the other end, like, I have to just shake it. It's not going to fall off that is it and it protects the spikes and off we go put the barley straw going out now it's like three in a binder we think it's 32 foot that trailer so 28 foot so hopefully you'll get some in from this end and there's some in from the other end like put some sideways then put the other ones in long ways again yeah it's going to go to room there that's made a dent in the pile and there's only 51 left in here so that's quite handy it means we're not going to double handle them because we want to move these out move this barley over now there's room put some beans in here this tractor's been on the A30 in Cornwall We drove past that on a tractor run. My camera on the back. The cab's quite big inside. Is this what Joe had that went on fire the other day? This is a 155. The window sh shattered, didn't it, as he put it out? I presume that's the equivalent now to like a 6920, I bet. Morgan's tidied up from that barley that was in front of the straw. I'm going to quickly do the birthday one, but only four names today. Tom Heathcote is 33, Ian Kirkbride is 46, Matt Wiley is 17, and Alfie Williams is 11. £50,749 raised for the Air Ambulance. A couple of people have said, when am I going to give it to the Air Ambulance? I don't have the money, it automatically goes to the Air Ambulance when you make a, a donation on Just Giving. So the, I, think, I think Just Giving collects it, and then every week or every month sends a cheque or faxes it to the Air Ambulance. So yeah. I made the mistake once when I did the sunflower maze, collecting the money and then giving it to the charity and then it went on my income tax. So now just giving it goes straight there. I'm pointing at that, I don't know why I'm pointing at that, but yeah, just giving it goes straight there. Dark now at half five already. So that's about all for today. Tomorrow we've got something quite exciting coming on demo that you've, you've probably never seen before. So, or have you? Don't know, tune in tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Um, wet day here. I think everyone's had rain, haven't they? So, um, Hopefully tomorrow's dry. See you then. Actually, one last thing. Um, thank you, Thomas, for your letter that was emailed and Ian's printed out. That's amazing. So good luck with the Ralph Cider. And also, I've had these things sent as well. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Richard Baker, for sending this over. How cute is that? Also, loads of flowers and Paddington birds. Thank you, everyone and more flowers as well.